Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. In today's video, what I'm going to be showcasing is how to play PSP games on your modded PlayStation Vita or on your PS TV using the Hankaku exploit or the Trinity exploit. With that being stated out the way as well, please be sure to follow my latest social media so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel. I try to upload every day or every two days or I usually try to update weekly. So if you follow my social medias, that's the best way on how to know when I drop my latest content as well if you do want to support me or my community you can feel free to join my official discord either in the link in the description below or you could just type in this link via as showcased in the screen not only you can meet new people from the modding and hacking scene you can also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite console and have basically access to any useful home rule for like the ps3 vita or ps4 or whatever console in my discord chat so if you guys need any help on how to set this up or if you have any questions containing or pertaining about the ps3 uh of ps4 and vita you can go ahead and feel free to join my discord and ask me in there um as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal any donations that i may receive from fans and supporters will go straight back into the channel it will help me buy a better equipment such as a mic a better camera so i could provide the best content for you guys and so you guys can learn on how to mod your favorite um systems with that being stated all out the way as well we could go ahead and get started on the prerequisites and things you'll need for this video for today so first things first you need a modded playstation vita or pstv via using the hankaku h on core or the trinity hack of course your system needs to either between these two firmwares 3.60 to 3.70 so if you on 3.71 or you have a vita that's on 3.70 you should go ahead and block your system um update if you don't know how to uh do that and you're getting that pesky error for 3.71 i have a link in the description below and also a video card right now on teaching on how to do that or if you just want to learn how to to mod your playstation vita or pstv on 3.70 firmware i'll basically have a card right now and also that in the link in the description below as well you need the latest version of vita shell you also need a latest version of the adrenaline file you also need a 6.61 pbp of update psp file and you need any psp game of your choice that is in an iso or cso format and as well you need fazilla or usb charging cable to basically do this i do recommend using a usb charging cable for this since the process may take longer depending on how much games you're trying to put onto your system and it's just a faster uh, transfer rate since i'm using um my uh, vita to live stream this on with obs i have to use files of the ftp client because my usb is streaming my vita to my pc but with all that being stated out the way i just want to give a special thanks to the flow for uh, releasing his exploit aka the trinity exploit and as well for you know making the adrenaline emulator itself and don't forget if you need help just go ahead and join my discord but what all that good stuff getting out the way we could go ahead and get started on the pc portion of the tutorial Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PC. Now we can go ahead and get started on the PC portion of this tutorial. So as showcased here, I have all my files that I we need. So of course we got our game of choice. Today I'll be testing out Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, and this is the USA version. Mind you, if this was an ISO or .CSO file, it will still work with this process. And any game from the PSP library does work with the Adrenaline emulator. As well, here is the 6.61 PBP file that we need to update adrenaline so this is the actual psp file that we need so adrenaline can run and here is the actual uh, psp emulator itself since the vita could already play psp games natively this is just um adrenaline is using like some tie hand uh, config thing i'll have a link in the description below for the wiki if you want to learn on how this works as well but with that being stated out the way since we got all our files here what we need to do is go to our playstation vita go ahead and open up vita shell or so we could go ahead and transfer these uh, files over so I'll meet you guys back onto the PS Vita Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I'm basically back onto my PlayStation Vita. What we need to do now is go ahead and run Vita Shell. So if you don't already have, um, you know, Hankaku running or H on Core or the Trinity Exploit 
um, go ahead and run that first and then you could run a uh, Vita shell since I'm on Henkaku Enzo I could stick up that step since I don't always have to you know run Henkaku at boot so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up Vita shell what we need to do is go ahead and determine on how you want to transfer your files over since I'm doing it files of the FTP method I would have to set my settings to Wi-Fi but assuming if you guys are doing this with a USB cable go ahead and plug in your USB cable from your Vita to your PC and then what we need to do is go into start and then scroll all the way down using our directional pad button or your analog stick to select either um, which one you want to transfer with so if you're using USB just hit left and right on your d-pad and then if you're on USB just leave that uh, via right here but if you're on FTP like you're doing me and transferring files over your internet connection then do it FTP since I'm doing FTP all you would have to do is just circle back out depending on whatever you choose and now what you need to do is go ahead and hit select on your PlayStation Vita or if you're on a PS TV just hit select on your um, PS3 controller or PS4 controller and you see now your FTP server and also its IP and port what I'm gonna do now is go back to the PC and then run up files of the FTP client or any FTP client that could connect to your Vita will work for this as well and then we're gonna go ahead and transfer over adrenaline GTA Liberty City and we're also going to um, copy over the 6.61 PBP file so meet you guys for that process as well Alrighty guys, so since we're back onto the PC, what we need to do now is go ahead and open up Faza FTP client. So as showcased here, I'm going to open that up on my end. Um, if you don't have this already installed or if you haven't watched any of my videos, I'll have a link in the description, of course, on how to install FileZilla FTP client. Um, it's just like any other program. But what we're going to do is go ahead and type in our PS3's IP. So just leave your PS3 where it says their FTP server. And always, guys, your port is 1337. So let me just go ahead and hit quick connect. Um, if you get this insecure FTP connection, all you have to do is just go ahead and toggle this on and then just hit OK. And you should see all your directories if you already have Hankaku said, excuse me, Hankaku settings enabled into um, your actual settings to see unsafe homebrew. So what we need to do now is go ahead and open up UX0, scroll all the way down to PSP Emu. Let me go ahead and find it right here. And then if you don't already have a folder called ISO, this is where our games are going to be located. So all you would have to do if you don't have this ISO folder is just right click, go into create directory and enter it. And all you would have to do right here where it says new directory, just type in ISO in all capital letters and then just hit OK. But since I have ISO right here, as you could tell, I already had adrenaline installed previously on my system. I just deleted it just for tutorial purposes today. But this is Kingdom Hearts uh, Birth My Sleep, um, the English patch right here so what i'm going to do is take my gta liberty city stories iso via right here and just drag that over right now if you guys also want to learn how to patch kingdom hearts barf by sleep if you're a fan of the kingdom Hearts series i will have a card right now that will showcase on how to do that but with that being out the way what we could do is just go back out to ux0 aka our memory card and what we need to do is just go ahead and drag and drop and journal into here so that's what i'm going to do Actually, I'm just going to go back out one more time so I'm sure it won't go into any other folder and just drag it and drop it into UX0. As well, we're going to do the same for the 6.61 uh, PPP file. We're also going to drag that to um, UX0 as well. So, of course, um, my internet connection speed, it all depends on how fast it wants to do it. Um, of course, that's why I recommended earlier in the video to do this with a USB cable due to how many games you're trying to install. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be installing one. So what I'm going to do right now is pause the video right here. Let um, the you know transfer do its thing. And then once it's all finished, I'll come back and then I'm going to explain on how to install our game and also how to install Adrenaline onto our PlayStation. Vita. So I'll meet you guys back for that process. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, all of my games successfully transferred over to my Vita from the PC. What we need to do now is go to our PlayStation Vita, close down Vita Shell, and then get some of our files installed. So that's what I'm going to be showcasing right now. Alrighty guys, so once you're back onto your PlayStation Vita, what we can do is go ahead and hit circle to cancel out our FTP server. And what we need to do now is go ahead into UX0, scroll all the way down to where you see adrenaline.vpk. So this is what I'm doing now. Just go ahead and hit X to install the package. And then I'll ask you one more time, do you want to go ahead and install it? Or basically just confirming that you are, are you sure to 
install this package file or this VPK, just go ahead and hit install. It shouldn't take too long for Adrenaline to install, but once it's uh, finished installing on my end, I'm going to go ahead and show the next step. So, all right, it's done on my end. What we could do is go ahead and hit the PlayStation button on our Vita or on your PS3 remote if you're using the um, PlayStation TV. What we need to do now is go ahead, scroll down till we find Adrenaline. So here's Adrenaline. What we need to do is go ahead and hit Start. And then from here, just go ahead and hit OK. Now, there is a kind of an issue that I noticed that if you don't have the 6.61 PBP file, it may not download. So once you get to this screen right here, what we want to do is just go ahead and back out by hitting um, the hold down the PlayStation button for a long time. Go ahead and hit settings and then it will get a little menu stating that exit PSP MU application. So that's what we're going to do here. And then we're going to go straight back into Vita Shell. The only reason why we're doing this because um, once you install this program, the directories had to be ported to um, a certain place in our app folder, which I'm going to showcase here. So if we scroll all the way down and we're going to see our 6.61 PVP file, what we need to do is go ahead and hit triangle and just go ahead and select move by hitting the X button. And then you will be noted that the file has been selected. Just go ahead and hit OK. Then what we need to do is go to our app folder, scroll all the way down and I'm going to find it right quick right here until you see this PSP MUCFW folder in all capital letters, the one I'm highlighted over right now. Just go here and what we need to do now is just go triangle and paste our 6.61 file into this directory. Do not put it in any other directories but just put it on the base root of this file so it goes right here. Now what we need to do is just go ahead and back out of Vita Shell. We could close this app down. And what we need to do now is go into Adrenaline and then run it like a normal program. So here's what I'm doing now. We got to basically, it's going to ask us press X to install this PSP 6.61 firmware on your memory card. So that's what I'm doing right now. And what it's doing is basically creating all the directories and extracting all of the, the files in that .pbp file to create um, Adrenaline for our PlayStation Vita. So it may take a little second. Um, it, takes like 30 or you know 40 seconds to do so as showcased here you're going to see a bunch of code on the screen and now it's writing all of these uh rco files and you know all that good stuff so the um actual emulator can run so don't worry um once it's done it will just note that the firmware has been successfully installed all you have to do is just press x to boot to the playstation portable x and b just go ahead and hit x then Right now, if I turn on my volume for my Vita, I don't know if you caught that via with this uh, microphone, but you could hear the PlayStation Portable's, uh, you know, intro boot screen. So right now, since I am just setting this up, I'm just going to go through all this stuff right here. Uh, just choose your selected language and all that fine stuff. I really don't care about the time since I'm just using this for emulation purposes. But right now, here is basically adrenaline running on your PlayStation Vita in real time. Um, some things to note um, to get out of this is just hold down the PlayStation button for a while, go into settings, and then you'll see all these settings as well. There are save states and you could toggle by hitting the shoulder buttons on your thing. Um, if you want to mess with some other settings right here, like smoothing out graphics, uh, you know, changing the scale, determining where you want your memory stick location to go. Since mine is my memory card, if I want to use a DualShock 3 or 4 controller, you can. If you want to skip the adrenaline boot, um, you can as well. But um, to cancel that all out, all you would have to do is hit circle. What we're going to do now is go to our memory stick right now. And then as showcased here, you see all of my uh, games that I already had previously installed. But I'm going to go ahead and run uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty Cities. I am going to turn down my music due to just copyright issues. I just don't want to, you know, get flagged for that. But I'm going to showcase that uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories is in, you know, running on my PlayStation Vita. I also do recommend checking out this video. I'll have a link in the card right now on how to get uh, remaster controls for Grand Theft Auto uh, Liberty city and vice city and this allows you to use your uh, right analog stick in Grand Theft Auto uh, Liberty City stories as well um I know it works with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and some other games for the PSP that the flow actually made as well so I do recommend uh, checking out that video on how to get remastered controls onto your uh, PlayStation Vita for you know older titles like this since it makes it uh, easier to play but yeah 
it's gonna go ahead and showcase some gameplay once it uh, starts loading up on my screen let me just skip the scene right here but yeah that's essentially on how to play PSP games on your PlayStation Vita or on your PS TV if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more daily content just like this I'm signing out bye